Hi, my name is Bob Moffitt. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself so that as you view and listen to the content of these tapes, you'll have an idea of where the things that I say are coming from. First of all, I'm a developing follower of Jesus. Secondly, I'm married to what I think is the most beautiful bride in all the world. And third, I'm a daddy and a grandfather of five wonderful grandsons. And they are the delight of our lives. I'm also the founder and president of the Harvest Foundation and co-founder with Daryl of the Disciple Nations Alliance. I'm a preacher's kid and that has really shaped who I am and what my mission is in life. Since the mid-1960s, I've been very concerned about the fulfillment of Jesus' commission to us, to see the nations discipled. And I've become convinced, theologically, as well as practically, from observing thousands of churches all over the world, that the local church is the primary instrumentality that God has ordained not the only one, but the primary instrumentality that God has ordained for fulfilling His command and His commission to us. I didn't always feel that way. As a matter of fact, when I was in seminary in the late 60s and early 70s, I became very disillusioned with the local church. More than disillusionment, it was a bitterness. A bitterness that arose out of seeing a church which professed its commitment to obedience to Jesus as a church that was really much more interested in preserving the status quo and not getting involved in the risky business of committing themselves voluntarily, sacrificially to the command of Christ. And I came to the point where I just really had no use for the church, especially the local church. And I went through a period of about five, six years of real anger toward the local church. And during the end of this period, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Bob, the church is my bride. I love her. I gave my life for her. And until you love her with my love, I can't use you. I felt like a dagger had pierced my soul. And I said, Father, forgive me. I can't love the church. But I'm willing, if you will do a miracle, and you will heal me, and give me your love for your bride. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. And since 1980, I have poured my life into the local church, into helping her see the great opportunity God has given her to be His chosen instrumentality for the demonstration of His great love into a dark world which so desperately needs to be touched by Jesus. Mm -hmm.